Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. It's been a while since I did a video and uh, today I'm going to do a little look at a DC energy meter that I picked up off eBay. It cost, well, I think, £8.55 from the UK. You can get the exact same model from Hong Kong and China for about five, six quid. And it looked quite interesting. Uh, it's actually listed as a DC LCD monitor energy volt meter RC battery power analyzer. On the box it's got TL142. I don't know if that's uh, the particular seller's part number or the part number. But in the box it did have a bit of bubble wrap around it which I've taken off. Basically you get this device here and an instruction manual. Let's get rid of the box. <coughs> I mean, what I did notice is the uh, construction. Uh, this is uh, nice an an anodized blue case, which is quite nice, but I can see my screen is a bit skew with. Uh, for what I want to use it for, it doesn't really matter because I'm going to take it apart. I want the insides uh, to go into a power supply so I'm going to do a, a good tear down on this and yeah I would anyway because I don't know what's this lodged in there right what is there to say uh, nice anod anodized blue there's a connector here which the instruction says uh, it's from the auxiliary supply apparently if you come on the, the input here and obviously your load goes here you only uh, the voltage range is uh, 4 to uh, 60 volts at 0 to 100 amps interestingly it's only 50 amps constant 100 amp peak but if you have an external source you can actually uh, the voltage will measure down to 0 volts right well so nicer looking cables uh, you got about three inches of cable each end. I suppose it's enough. Uh, would be nice to have a bit more. But hey, it was eight quid. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rip it apart. Because like I said, I just want the inside. I, I want. I'm building a power supply at the moment, and some of the things that it shows on it will. It'll make a nice inline module to build in the power supply right. I'll take four screws off to start off with. Okay. Oh okay, the, the board is just it's not held in by anything, it's just it's just there. Okay. I'll take the other end cap off, which should allow me to pull this out. The, the board's actually just held in place by the two grommets, which is never good. Uh, I don't know what the insulation is like on the bottom. Let's have a look. Okay, yeah, see, so that would kind of worry me. As you see, it's fairly bare there there's a bit of insulation there just keeping those pins up but that's barely enough so when that's sat down now that is yeah that that's quite close so if you do buy one of these i'll definitely take it apart and maybe put a, some insulation there all right the positive looks like it goes straight through uh, get that off though i don't like uh, it looks like a standard uh, two line, is it about 40 character display? No, I can't see. Yeah, maybe it looks like two line. The type of thing you get with uh, Arduino shields and things like that. And it's got just this module which is plugged into it, which is obviously uh, the L LCD driver. It's, it's actually soldered so I can't really pull it apart and what I can see I don't know 
how well you would see that there. Uh, I don't know how well it's coming out on camera. I can actually see there's like a big sense resistor there. So it's actually sensing the current on the negative. Right. Just uh, not that right. I have a battery. It is 11.1 .1 volt. It's a free cell LiPo. And. Okay. What's that? 50 ohm 5 watt. Let's just make sure I'm doing this right. Okay, loads this end. Alright, I'm just going to. plug this in because like I said um, I want to use this actually in my power supply I'm making so it won't be in its case all right let's I can get that under the installation I've got 50 ohms there I don't know how well this is gonna Strip it back a bit. All right, negative to negative. Positive to positive. Could go bang. What was it supposed to be? Weight. What? <coughs> okay, we fired up. What we got here? This this seems to be telling me I'm drawing 0.32 amps. Uh, 12.51 volts charged uh, LiPo and it's putting out 4 watts which is uh, yeah it's going to warm up a, quite nicely actually and it is a 5 watt resistor so it should cope and we've got watt hours AP uh, VM don't know what the initials are at the end amp hours is quite interesting that would be quite interesting for charging batteries does it Oh, da -da 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 -dum 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 -dum. All right, all right. Does voltage? Okay, as we said before, does a uh, to sixty volts. Uh, uh, only if you're externally powered. If you're powered like I am here, it's four to sixty. I can smell that resistor getting hot. <laughs> I might have to unplug it. Uh, current is 50 amps continuous, 100 amps peak. Uh, power in 0 0.1. No power is here. Decimalization. Uh, you can go from 0 to 6,554 <coughs> 6, watts. Uh, 6.5 kilowatt. <coughs> Excuse me. Charges in amp hours, which it keeps coming up there. Uh, energy in watt hours. So I don't know what the prefix M or the prefix watt power, I presume. Amp hours. All right, I'm gonna plug that. It's starting to smell a bit. Okay, that's good. That's gone down to zero. Voltage is still there, obviously watts is zero. It's yeah, it looks like it's working I'm fine. Right, I mean you're gonna see this in another project. Like I said, I'm gonna embed this into a power supply I'm making. Yeah, it's warm. Uh but yeah, it looks like quite a nice little unit. Like I said, the first thing I would do is remove this back cover, which if you actually just remove the two screws on the back, it should pull off, insulate this bottom. Some plug, because <coughs> like I said, that is a, a bit too bare for my liking. And yeah, you can have a, a quite a nice meter. I would have thought. Put that in line with your lithium charge or something. It'll give you amp hours and things like that. So for eight pound worth every penny. That's hot. not too hot 
yeah, like I said, for an eight pound worth every penny. Yeah. And if you did want to wait, then obviously you could get it for a fiver. Uh, I can't quite see what pins or what. Okay. <coughs> For the auxiliary power looks like hmm it's hard to tell yes pit next to the niche is actually connected to the ground plane so i would have said that was negative I don't think the middle pin's connected, and the other one I would say was positive. Uh, I don't know what supply is actually saying in the instructions. What's uh, auxiliary supply? Because I mean, some people might want to uh, read, you know, only be on single cell lipos or something like that. Auxiliary power is. Uh, Auxiliary power, IG rec battery, no. Don't think that's the one. Big mm. video. Sorry, I'm going on a bit here, but <laughs> I'd presume it's probably only just like five volts from your electronic speed controller or something like that. I'm going to suggest it's like 4 to 6 divisions, but I don't think that's right. Mm. Come from safe limits. It's too much to read while I'm waffling on, on a video. Operating brain. It eh, doesn't look like it's. I bet it does somewhere, but I cannot quite see it. I'm sure I read it. But there you go. Nice little watt meter for eight quid or six quid if you wanna go from get one from China. Right, okay, many thanks for watching. Hope it was useful. Uh hopefully you see this one in uh my power supply in the near future. And don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>